Hi there, it's Lucy Brand here and today I'd like to share with you a personal story and it's about acknowledging, loving and accepting all of yourself, all of me basically. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully you will enjoy this. It is quite a personal story and it is a little bit extreme. Um, but it's something that happened a little while ago and I've just been cool to share it with you. Okay, so um, yeah, a little while ago, what was happening is I found that every time I did something or I was going to do something that I didn't want to do or I was anxious about or yeah, I just, I was in a situation where I felt I should do it rather than I, it was a, I could do something else, um, I would end up being sick. And it started to get to the point where it was really annoying because um, it was sabotaging on a quite a big scale. And it would just literally take me by surprise. I might be having my morning cup of tea or something like that. And then I'd be like, oh, I don't feel so good. And then that was it. I would be sick and I'd probably have to lie down for 20 minutes because I just felt a bit, oh. And then I'd feel fine again. So this happened for a few weeks and then I was just like, oh, this is definitely something that's mental. This is not something, you know, I haven't got a bug. Um, there's not something wrong with me bodily wise. It's definitely something that's going on in my brain, something that's going on in my mind. And it's something that clearly I'm not aware of that my body is trying to bring into my subconscious or bring into my awareness. So I went and found some help in the form of um, a lady who specializes in EFT, emotional freedom technique, also known as tapping, which I have done a video on before. Um, and what this does is it allows you to kind of find out what the real reason behind things are, because you can talk to your subconscious, which is normally running the show. Um, and it also, but it, not only that, because you tap on several points throughout your body, it also releases what's going on. So it's not just a matter of talking it through, which is mental, it's energetically releasing it from your body. So, um, yeah, I went to see this lady, she's amazing. And um, as we were tapping through, it, I suddenly came to me as I was going through that... Um, what this was, what this throwing up was, was a part of me that was angry and it was really angry and it was not being acknowledged. So every time I didn't really want to do something, every time I felt this isn't me, this isn't what I want to do, or I don't really want to go and do this, then my body would self-sabotage me. Um, and yeah, this is quite extreme, but I'm a very sensitive person. So I wasn't surprised that <laughs> something like this was coming up. But then what I did is how to deal with it is I tapped around on the points, acknowledged this anger that was inside of me that felt that it wasn't getting a voice. And it felt that it was a part of me that was being suppressed um, because I was always like, oh yeah, everything's fine. Sometimes you need to acknowledge that it's not fine. Sometimes you need to acknowledge that you're angry about something. And it's just an emotion which will pass. You know, it always passes. But it also, if you suppress it, you might have seen it as well. If you suppress it, then it can come out at the most inappropriate times, which I'm sure you've seen where um, someone's maybe blown up for no reason at all. And then they're like, actually, I had this going on. Um, and particularly if it's a issue that's been going on for years and you've suppressed it and you're not acknowledging it. And I've also found with the experience and through talking with people um, and working with people, as women, anger can be quite a difficult emotion for us to process. I've definitely found that myself because um, I either don't acknowledge it and pretend everything's fine um, when it really isn't and I need to get that energy moving or um, I can burst into tears because I feel that I can't express myself. And that's all um, this throwing up, this anger wanted to do was just express itself and get itself heard. Um, 
I just another side from that actually another way I deal with that if I feel um a bit angry I I've had a lot of healing on anger issues and stuff but where if I do feel a bit angry now or frustrated I do actually punch a few pillows <laughs> in my bedroom because it's just about this energy and getting it moving it's nothing bad there's no need to attach anything to it it just needs to be released and let go of rather than storing it in your body and holding it down in your body but as I said if it's an issue that you've been hiding from yourself or not admitting to yourself for a while and you stored it down then it's going to need a lot of work um, but luckily for me because it was just it was just this part of me that just felt that it wasn't being acknowledged I then had to do some EFT work on uh, acknowledging that there is always going to be a part of me that if it feels something's unfair or unjust it's, it's going to get angry because angry is an accepting, like you have to accept that as an emotion that we're going to feel, but something that I struggled with because I felt guilty. Um, and also just once I'd acknowledged it, let it go and just accepting that this is all of me. Like there are going to be times when I feel upset. There's going to be times when I feel angry, but the same, there's going to be times when I feel happy and when I feel joy and all those kind of, all kinds of emotions. So what I'd like to just share with you now is I can't remember the full EFT script um, because it was a while ago what I used. And I did have several sessions on it just to really make sure that um, I was acknowledging this part and I was letting it go um, but I have to say I haven't had any problems since then of like not wanting to do something and throwing up so it definitely works um, but yeah so if you do want to tap along with me great but you need to take full responsibility for yourself and your well-being because EFT can throw up things. So you could be tapping on one particular issue and then something else comes up. Um, and that's quite, that's quite normal. Um, and that just means it's great because it's another opportunity to heal something and move on from it because that's what we want. Okay, so you always start with the side of the hand and start with something like, um, even though sometimes there's a little part of me that can get angry and upset. I am acknowledging this part and I am accepting that it's part of me and I deeply and completely love, honour and accept my authentic self. Even though sometimes I get a little bit scared as there's a part of me that can be a little bit angry. It's okay because it's just a passing emotion and it is not all of me. And I deeply and completely love, honour and accept my authentic self. I acknowledge this part of me that sometimes gets angry and it's okay to get angry sometimes and then just let it go. Just letting myself be able to express all of me. And then I can release this part of me and move on. Learning to accept all of me and all of my emotions, but knowing that these emotions will come and go. And that is okay because all emotions just pass. And I am a good person, but I just need to acknowledge the emotions that I feel because these emotions are part of me. 
And if I acknowledge these emotions, I can then let them go and see clearly. Rather than suppressing them and then coming out at the wrong time. I acknowledge how I'm feeling and I deeply and completely love, honour and accept all of myself and all of my feelings as they are all part of me and I desire and choose to express all of myself, every little awesome bit, so that I can live an authentic life and be released from any and clear any emotions blocked, allowing emotions to just flow through me so that I can just be clear in mind, body, spirit and soul. And then just take a deep breath in and let it go. Ah, I was feeling a bit lightheaded and blissed out. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that, that one, that one is just about acknowledging emotions and it doesn't have to be anger. It could be guilt, it could be guilt, it could be shame. All, all these negative emotions that we tend to feel, I just use example, anger as an example, but it wasn't that I was, um, I wasn't, I was internalizing it. That was the problem. So it was affecting me personally. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do like try tapping along to that script um, and feel free to add in your own words and just see what comes up for you. Um, particularly if you've got um, an issue that you're struggling with or something at the moment or that you feel quite emotional about and you need to bring down that level of emotion, that would be a really good script. If there's something that you feel quite upset about or anything yeah, that you're quite tied to at the moment emotionally and it's making you very wobbly and not be able to see clearly because that's the other thing. Once we let these emotions flow through us and come out the other side, you can normally see the solutions a lot easier and be a lot more authentic in expressing your true self rather than coming from a point of being angry or upset or frustrated. Okay, well, thank you very much and I will speak to you soon. Bye.